periodical cicadas are large flying insects that are known for the loud buzzing noise that males make to attract female mates. Cicadas have prominent eyes set wide apart, short antenna, and membranous front wings. There are about 3,000 cicada species, so they vary in size from three-fourths of an inch to a little over two inches in length. Cicadas can be black, brown, or green and have red, white, or blue eyes. Their wings are transparent and can seem rainbow-hued when held up to a light source. Periodical cicadas are hard to miss as they typically appear in the hundreds or thousands per acre. Periodical cicadas should not be confused with the annual cicadas which are black and green and emerge every year. Cicadas were eaten in ancient Greece and are still consumed today in China, both as adults and more often as nymphs. Cicadas are also eaten in Malaysia, Burma, North America, and Central Africa, as well as Pakistan. Female cicadas are prized for being meatier. Cicadas do trees a service by dying and releasing a vast amount of nutrients back into the soil. Cicadas don't bite or sting, and they're not poisonous, so they're not harmful to pets. They're not known to carry any diseases either. Cicadas generally don't do any lasting damage, except possibly to young trees and shrubs. When ingested, they can potentially result in some stomach upset in dogs and cats, as the exoskeleton may be difficult to digest. In general, the majority of complaints related to periodical cicadas are in relation to their noisy behavior as well as their skin shedding. Cicadas are known as the loudest insect in the U.S., and their singing can be heard for up to a half a mile away. Their lifespan above ground is much shorter than their underground lives. Depending on the species, a cicada might emerge as often as annually or as infrequently as every 17 years, but they die about five to six weeks later. People call these cicadas locusts, but they are not true locusts. Real locusts look like grasshoppers. The phrase 17-year cicada indicates that they arrive every 17 years. The name periodical cicadas indicates that they arrive periodically and not each and every year. Most 17-year cicadas have red eyes, but they can also have white, gray, blue, or multicolored eyes. There are four species of 13-year cicadas too. The ones with a shorter life cycle, the 13-year cicadas, tend to live in the south. The 17-year cicadas, which live in the north, stay underground longer to counteract the longer winters. 17 and 13 are prime numbers. Scientists speculate that one reason why these cicadas emerge in 17 or 13 year cycles is because those are prime numbers. The fact that 13 and 17 are relatively large prime numbers compared to the average lifespan of an animal makes it difficult for predators to synchronize with them. Annual cicadas, cicadas that arrive every year, often have wasps specialized to prey on them. One of their enemies is the cicada killer wasp. These are wasps that home in on cicadas, much like the tarantula wasp seeks out tarantulas. The female wasp flies around searching for cicadas, and when it finds one, it stings it and paralyzes it, then carries it to a burrow, lays one egg on it, and then closes the burrow up. It's a good-sized wasp because you have to figure it has to be able to grab the cicada and fly with it. The cicada remains alive underground while the wasp larva is feeding on it, and the larva feeds at such a rate that it doesn't immediately kill the cicada. During their underground life, some cicadas become infected with the spores of a fungus that will then grow inside their bodies, eventually killing them and sprouting a fruiting body from their heads. Periodical cicadas have no such wasps because no wasps could adapt to sink with it. They might land on you if you're using a power tool or lawnmower. Cicadas think the sounds made by the power tools and lawn maintenance equipment are made by cicadas. They get confused and will land on the people using powered equipment. So cut your lawn in the early morning or near dusk when the cicadas are less active. If you're looking for cicada relief during an emergence, the best way to avoid contact is to limit time spent outdoors during the daytime hours when they are most active. Cicadas have five eyes. Cicadas have two obvious large compound eyes and three smaller jewel-like eyes situated between the two main eyes. Only male cicadas make the sound they're so famous for. Males have organs on their abdomen called timbles. Muscles pop the timbles in and out which creates the sound we hear. 
Males make different calls for different reasons, and each species has a unique sound. Females can make sounds too. They flick their wings to respond to the males. Cicadas have unique mating calls. Cicadas in different regions of the eastern United States often sound slightly different, which is to be expected given that they're separated geographically. However, these differences are more pronounced in areas where two species overlap. In one of these regions, South Illinois, each species has a more distinctive mating song than what occurs in areas where they're isolated. In Illinois, those with a more northern range have a much higher pitched song, whereas the southerners are lower pitched. This allows cicadas to differentiate between the different species. Why are there so many cicadas? One theory suggests that large numbers overwhelm predators, so predators are never able to eat them all, and many always survive to reproduce. The biggest concern about 17-year cicadas is their potential damage to young trees. The truth is, they will damage limbs on the wimpiest of trees. So if you have weak, ornamental trees in your yard, you should consider placing netting around the trees if the cicadas visit. Also, you can try hosing them off with water or picking them off like grapes. Cicadas use their color to warm up. They need to be warm to sing and fly around, but they're cold-blooded. Their dark skin absorbs the heat of the sun, which helps to warm them up. The majority of a 17-year cicada's life is spent developing in an underground habitat. During this time, they feed on the juices of tree roots. After 13 or 17 years, periodical cicadas emerge from the soil when the temperature 8 inches below the surface reaches 64 degrees. Once above ground, the adults may feed on plant juices with minimal damage from feeding. After emerging from underground, periodical cicadas will remain above ground for about a month, during which time they will molt in leaves, copulate, and lay eggs in slits the females cut on the ends of small tree branches. Each female cicada can lay between 400 and 600 eggs, meaning populations can be enormous. The adults die off while the cicada offspring fall to the ground and burrow into the soil until they re-emerge 13 to 17 years later. Periodical cicadas are least active at night when they're most likely up in the trees and early in the morning when the temperature is cooler. They're strong yet clumsy flyers, occasionally flying into objects that cross their paths. As a result, it's common for cicadas to unknowingly fly into homes if residents leave doors or windows open. Periodical cicadas are unable to breed indoors, so infestations inside houses are not likely. Cicadas have underground battles. Scientists say it's tricky to study the cicada life cycle, as much of it takes place underground. Beyond the reach of scientists' eyes, intense competition is occurring between cicada nymphs. Most mortality takes place in the first or second nymph stage. There's competition for feeding space underground. The cicadas may die in battle, fighting each other over food, but nobody knows that for sure yet. They have digging claws that can dig through hard dirt, so they might be able to actually kill each other. We don't know because it's hard to watch them underground. The emergence of periodical cicadas is one of the grand spectacles in all of nature and can be very enjoyable. They are noisy though. <laughs>